Oh, I look dangerous. <laughs> Hey guys! Hi. So Ethan's back with me. We are doing opening sort of an unboxing of my February, I guess it would be, julep box. Um, so this is my box, but I also got an add-on because um, I like some of the things they had this time. So <laughs> it's been a little while since I ordered this. I ordered, you know, because you can go and review your um, boxes on the 20th through the 24th so um, it's been a little while so I don't really remember what's in here so this is going to be interesting um, for those of you who don't know julep is a um, subscription service you become a julep maven julep is a nail polish company um, you can buy their nail polish online um, this is my second box I signed up end of December so I didn't get a January box um, but I did get my starter box. I, it was a boho glam. I believe I stayed a boho glam this month as well just because I liked the colors that were in there. The price is about, it's, I think it's $19.99 so it's about $21 with everything. Um, you can sign up for your first box for just a penny. I believe the sh code is actually penny. I had to pay for shipping which was five bucks. So far I've really liked the nail polishes I've gotten. I got a ton of compliments on my Tony color for my last box, so I'm really excited to see what is in here. So let's get started. Uh, I actually haven't opened it yet, so you will be seeing. There you go. I'm giving the box to Ethan, or the, the uh, knife to Ethan, and he's going to open my add on product, which we're not going to look at yet. Okay, so you open the box, and the first thing you get is the little card. Um, and the one this, this time is the, um, oh, this is because it's award season, so it's get on the A-list. So, um, this one is, it, it's got a quote from Ingrid Bergman, A-list attitude, be yourself, the world worships the original. I like that quote, it's really good. So, this is Julep in February. So, oh, it's so cute, look. Look, they, like, they leave you little heart chocolates because it's February and it's Valentine's Day. So there's actually little heart chocolates in here. I'm, I'm assuming they're chocolates. <laughs> they look like heart chocolates. Oh, that's so cute. And my 10-year-old will take them now. <laughs> um, I'll eat them for Okay, you. first thing I see is this little baggie. How to get red carpet ready lashes. So let's see what this is. This must be a set of lashes or... Oh, okay. <laughs> this looks like it might be an eyelash curler, actually. It's fun. But it's like really super small. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, flip handle down. So, okay, it's really tiny, you see? It says flip handle down. Now i got to figure out where the handle is. Oh. Oh, look at that. So it's got this little peg. It almost looks like you could like stand it up. But actually what it manipulates is this part. So you can actually, I guess you do it this way. This way? Not sure what's going on there. Uh, okay, so flip the handle down, position curler at the base of upper lash line. Gently squeeze and hold for a few seconds, repeat on other eye, and then apply mascara. It has to be this way because there's not, because over here you've got all this space, so it has to be this way, but... This would curl your eyelashes down, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. So I feel like you have to go this way. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm, I've lost my mind. Where's my other eyelash curler? Oh, I thought you were going to say, where's your mind? Hold this. So <laughs> I have pulled out my other eyelash curler so I can see what it looks like. So, okay. So yeah, I guess like that is what you do. So you would go... Yeah, it curls them. I mean, I can feel them in there. It's really still awkward. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know how much use I'll get from this. But, I mean, it's tiny, so if it does work, it'd be a great little add-in-your-bag kind of thing. Put it in your purse. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, I mean, it's a really cute idea, and I like the packaging, so. so now let's get... Oh, well, this is nice. I've got two actual things here. Um, and these are just laying in, so these... I think my nail polishes are in this bag, this wrapped up bag. 
So these are the extra products that I got. Last time I got glitter. So this is the Freedom Polymer Top Coat. It goes on like a polish, performs like a gel is what it says. So this is a top coat. It came out the front. <laughs> it's weird. Um, so yeah, it's a little thicker consistency. You can tell it's going to be more gel-like. So I'll be excited to try that out. The other thing is in Oxygen Nail Treatment. It says makeup for your nails. Uh, perfecting tint and revolutionary treatment for thin, weak nails prone to breakage and peeling. I do get some thin and weak nails every once in a while, but generally I have really clean, like good nails. Um, but it says apply to clean nails once or twice a week for high gloss coverage and a strong, healthy growth. For best results and to promote nail plate oxygenation, do not use with any other polish. So you would have to have your nails bare. It does look like it has like a rose colored tint. I'm assuming that it would at least look nice. So here's my blank, you know, my blank nail, blank nail, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, it's got a pink tint, tint to it. So let's put that on and see what it looks like. Yeah, it just gives you like a little bit of a pink tint. No more than you would probably get from like um, a French manicure kind of color. But it's just, you know, glossy. And then I'm sure when your nails dry, I mean, it would be really nice. You, this would look professional enough to wear it to work or wear out. Um, but yeah, I could, I could totally go with that. Um, not sure how well it works, obviously, but um, does anybody else have OCD when it comes to a square cap and a square thing and it won't line up like this is too loose so it would fall off but when you tighten it all the way <laughs> okay maybe it's just me all right and now we're gonna open oh it does say oh look there's a little card for the chocolate hearts contains sugar milk cocoa butter chocolate soy lecithin oh, it might be lecithin lecithin I don't know and vanilla may have come in contact with peanuts or tree nuts. So that's really good that they have a, an allergy warning and they actually provide the ingredients. It's really important for people like me who sometimes, you know, like when I was on the Whole30 and I was really watching. Um, I mean, obviously I should know that there's sugar in chocolate hearts, but just in case somebody's a bit of an idiot, it's good to know. And this is taking me forever to open. Sorry. Okay. So, burr, burr, burr. this should actually be my nail polish colors. And by the way, they wrap things really well. I mean, it's in a bag that took forever to get off, and then it's in, and then it, and then it's in this thing. I just noticed something new on these. I did not get this in my in my intro box, and <laughs> the little plastic rubber band got me in the neck. On the top of the polishes now. It says swatch me and it has like a little white spot um, I do have one question considering it's on the nail part or the part of the nail polish where you have the brush how do you swatch it I mean I guess you could use a toothpick but I mean I think that was a little maybe a little more foresight would have said okay well to be able to like take the thing off and like swatch it on like the side or something to put the sticker on maybe on the side that would have maybe been good I don't know maybe I'm thinking too much but just maybe a little tip to the people at Julep that that would have been a little better for me so I'm opening my nail polish colors and I do like them they're both cream polishes I'm really into cream polishes right now so the colors I got oh this is cool so I got a um, a light blue and an orange and this is a really cute orange because it's more of a terracotta burnt orange so that's kind of pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them I can't swatch it on the cap see this is what I'm saying the stickers up here so I take this out and I'm like uh, how do I get that up there so oh I like the blue I like the blue a lot gonna need two coats of the blue because it's a light color and I don't like any see-through on my nails. Um, my cream polishes, they have to be really opaque. Really pretty color. It's like baby Robin's baby. So I'm gonna swatch the other one. This is an orange color. And yeah, I like this. It's like, um, it's not a pumpkin orange. 
like I said, it's more of a terracotta. It's really cute. This would be a really cute fall color. Kind of sad that it's like spring is coming and I've got this really great fall color. But I'm sure I can use it somewhere. So this is what I have. Can't really see. So this color is Ingrid, which is what a great name. And the other color, always on the bottom, is Julianne. So that makes sense because they're named after A-list stars, so Ingrid Bergman and then Julianne Moore, I'm guessing. Um, so this is Julianne and this is Ingrid. So these are really great colors. Now we will open my extra box. This is an add-on. Do your boxes, you can add on certain things. You can add on different colors if you like a different color from another box. I don't remember what I added on. Let's it might find be a, out. Might be a sparkly color. I have for some reason I think it might be like a gold sparkle. Let's see. Oh look, it's a shipping package thing telling me how much it costs. It's called Oscar. So I'm guessing it's gold sparkly. It's got a rubber band on it. Oh, just like they all do. Okay. <laughs> it's just a plastic rubber band. Okay, so this is just one. Glitter just gold. as I thought. It's a and this one doesn't have a swatch me. So are we doing it or not, Julep? Come on. <laughs> Consistency here. Um, I'm very OCD about things like that. It has to have it on all of them. I do like the idea of a swatch me thing, um, especially on like somewhere. But maybe you could send out like a package of stickers that we could swatch and then stick them on the top of our, of our bottles ourselves. So that way we can swatch them with the brush. Just a thought. Then put them on. Then put them on the top. So that way when we store our nail polishes, we can see the top and see what it looks like. So this is a gorgeous gold sparkle. I like really, really saturated glitters. I hate glitters that are just like, here's five pieces of glitter. Enjoy. So this is, I mean, honestly, I could probably do just a glitter nail. I like that. It's very, very, very coated in glitter. It's very sparkly. I like it a lot. Could you, can you do that on top of another one? Yeah, you can do it on top of another color, but I like ones that you could also just do a glitter nail. So it's sparkly, glitter nail. It's really pretty. <laughs> so those are my four juleps for today. And this, this really held up pretty well. I mean, this is, it looks professional. It looks really nice. Um, and yeah, I did get the Boho Glam again. Um, I love Julianne Moore and I love Ingrid Bergman, so it really totally makes sense for me. But this is a really, really great box, especially if you're really into doing your nails. So I highly recommend it. They're cream polishes. First of all, they go on great and they, they look fabulous. You get tons of compliments, but they stay on forever. I rarely need to do touch-ups. This would probably last me for a week if I, if I did it properly. Take care. Drink your water. See ya. Glam tip. Practice this pose. Stand tall with one hand on your hip. Turn a bit to the side. Cheat one foot forward and flash your smile. Does it work? <laughs>